I am a revolutionary. That was the message of one Fred Hampton. And the message that still rings true to this day, long after his assassination, which is covered in the film Judas and the Black Messiah. What's up, everyone? Matt here with another Who Are They? Real Review. And tonight, I'm going to talk to you about this film, Judas and the Black Messiah. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a Clevelander, Cleveland born and raised. And back in the fall of 2019, this film was filming in Cleveland. And I, I was excited. I, I, it's got two of the best young black actors in Hollywood. And I would be lying if I didn't say this film moved me to tears. It's powerful. Its message is strong, especially in the time where the Black Lives Matter movement is so prominent in today. And it shows you how far our nation has come, but still has to go. Now, while this is a film about Fred Hampton, ultimately, it's the story of Judas. And in this situation, Judas is played by Lakeith Stanfield. He is a wannabe FBI agent. He, in this situation where he must now, after being caught impersonating an FBI agent, he he's given a choice. Go to jail for impersonating one or be our mole. Now, Judas has a real name, of course, and that name and this this cast is well filled out. Dominique Fishback, who some of you may know her from Pro very strong standout. Uh just Lil Ray Howry, excuse me, Lil Rel Howry. Um he's got a small a small but major role in this film. Jesse Plemons is Roy Mitchell, the FBI agent who recruits, and then of course the ultimate standout of this film, Daniel Kaluuya. While this film may be Bill's story, Daniel's presence steals the spotlight every moment he's on screen. I could not be more proud um, and learn a very important part of our history. Not everyone's going to like this film. This film is going to trigger some people in a way that will make them uncomfortable with what has happened in the past, especially when the FBI ordered the assassination of a young black leader. And he made a difference in his short time in this world. This film is something that needs to be seen. It needs to be talked about and conversations need to be had because of it. We've come a long way since then, but we still have a long way to go. And that's why this film's so timely. The script, well-crafted, directed masterfully by Shaka King. Judas and the Black Messiah is available Tomorrow, February 12th, on HBO Max for the first month. And after that, you'll be able to rent it. If I'm going to give this film a rating, I'm giving it four and a half out of five stars. Out of five reels. Four and a half out of five reels. I can't believe I almost said stars. Uh, the film was produced by Ryan Coogler. And this, all I, all I got to say is this man has an eye for story. Please, it is Black History Month, and I beg each and every one of you to take the time out to check out Judas and the Black Messiah. Peace.